Hi everyone, not sure what happened there. I'm here to talk about student paints versus professional paints. And as you can see in this painting, where I've actually used both, you know, the quality looks pretty good and you can't really tell um, the difference because, you know, I've got really rich, rich colors uh, and I've got lots of pale colors uh, and I've got really intense colors. I've needed to have really intense colors as well. So I've actually used the, the, the two. So when it comes to colors that have got lots of white in them, like for example, mm, let me see, ash pink in the Matisse, which is a very pale pink, um, or even in Matisse, the magenta light, then these are, these are student quality paints. I, I, re I regard them as student quality paints. And um, actually, they don't have a lot of pigment in them, but it's really fun because they're all pre-mixed colors and they make your life a lot easier when you're color mixing and trying to find that, that color um, to add to your, to your more strong colors. Um, I also like to use the Winsor & Newton as my professional quality base, especially because they've got a great selection of pinks and reds. You can tell the difference between student quality and professional quality because the names are different. For example, the professional quality acrylic pink is called quinacridone violet. It sounds more scientific, okay? It sounds much more scientific. Um, whereas if you buy, um, buy a student range pink, it's called something like rose red, more like a lipstick sounding name. Um, you know, rose matter. Um, this one's called medium magenta. Okay, well, they're semi-technical. Um, you know, this color's called peach. So you can, of course, mix all these colors yourself. If you go through and do my um, free color mixing exercise, you can learn to mix them yourself, but it's really handy to have them on, on tap. So yeah, other colors in the, in the Winsor & Newton range, which tell you that they're professional, are words like perylene, perylene maroon, perylene violet. And perylene really just signifies a pigment that was, is a man-made pigment. And it was developed to go on cars to stop them from fading. So it's, it's, it's highly fade proof and very dark and deep. So you can get perylene reds, perylene greens and so on. So you won't find that in the student range because they're much more expensive. So uh, professional range paints tend to start from about $12.50 and go right up to about 50-ish in the acrylics. And um, for the student range, really handy colors like sand, which is very close to buff titanium. Um, pale powder blue, which is pre-mixed for you. They're about six bucks. Um, the Montmartre ones are six dollars. Some of their colors are okay. Their white is appalling. Um, uh, it's really streaky. But the colors, some of the colors are really, really good. Um, JB Burrows, if you go to office work, sometimes I pick up a few handy extra colors, petal pink. Um, the Liquitex Basics range, I would call that a student quality range. Um, they have some really nice extra colors like deep violet um, and ready-made sort of what I call a Barbie doll pink. Very handy when you're doing flowers to have some, some brights already pre-mixed. Um, but one thing that the student range can't do is they can't give you the brilliance of color that a, a professional range does. So the student range, range um, prices finish where the professionals start. So they finish at about $10.95 or 12 bucks. Really not much more than that. Then you go to the professionals and um, yeah, the price starts to go up. So $18.40 for what essentially looks like a much smaller tube of paint if I'm trying to hold the camera and the tubes here. There you go. So you can see it's about half the size, but quadruple the impact. I'm gonna show you a little um, exercise if my camera will sit still for me. Yes, it's gonna do that, yay. Okay, I've got my pad here. Let's take the Reeves pink. That's a good basic pink. It's very handy. I'm going to take a bit just on my finger and smear it and show you show show that to you. Okay, so there you go. You've got a nice smear there. You can see that. See, it's a little bit sort of translucent. It's got a lot of um, flow medium in it, and it doesn't really have a lot of coverage capacity. That's the darkest it's going to go. It's not going to go any darker. It, it will dry slightly darker. That's the nature of most acrylics. That's another conversation to have. Um, so then I pick up my uh, 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 quinacridone violet, where are you? Of course it's not here, one sec. Oh, 
might be completely blowing my uh, exercise here. Oh, yes, thank God for that. Here's my quinacridone violet, okay? So I just call it Q violet for short. Don't get bamboozled by the names. Don't let them put them off you because it put, put, put you off the paint. Okay, so here you go. There's a student one and here's a professional. Okay, you see how lovely and rich that is? And yet, I can still achieve the same pink when I add in some white. I'll show you that. Just use, doing a bit of finger painting here to demonstrate. Okay, so there you go. So when I add in that pink, the, the white to the pink, I can still achieve the same sort of pink there, but I can also go darker. I cannot get that intensity that I can get in the professional paint from the student paint. I can't get that student paint to go darker and still retain bold, beautiful colour. So for that reason, I like to have both because it's really handy. Um, yeah, it's great have, having these pre-mixed pinks. I love it. It's so handy. You know, we've got magenta light, medium magenta, petal pink, peach. You know, when you're, when you're painting using lots of these warm colours, it's, it's so handy. Um, and I love that. But um, it's also great to be able to have the rich original colours. Um, so that's, that's the main difference there. The other thing is that when you're buying um, earth tones, for example, let's go over here, we've got um, one of my students has painted this up today, and that, over the last couple of days, a beautiful cream rose, lots and lots of earth tones. As you go in, you can see that. Lovely. Okay, the good thing about earth tones is the pigments are cheap, okay? So it doesn't really matter what you buy. Don't buy the $2 ones. I would never buy $2 paint. It's, it's really not a good idea. Um, but you can, your earth tones are, are, are inexpensive, so you don't need to pay a lot for them. And you'll find that in the professional range, they do divide the ranges up into series one, two, three, four, and five, or series A, B, C, D, A for affordable, F for effing expensive. Um, but the thing is that the earth tones will always be the cheap, cheapest in the range because, you know, burnt umber, raw sienna, burnt sienna, I mean, just the names are delicious, aren't they? Raw umber light, um, violet iron oxide, things like that. Those colours uh, are not expensive to start with, so they're not going to have a high price on them anyway. So you can afford to buy those in the other ranges. Um, Another difference with the student paints, uh, and, and as I've said, I like them both, so when I say students versus professional, I, I like both, I like to have both. I love all the bright jewel-like colours of the student range, but I love the depth and the commitment in the pigment of the professional range. So, um, but a different, another difference I want to spell out is that there's a lot of fillers in these and, and uh, in, in the student ranges. Any of these student ranges, they give you, it looks like great value, but they have a lot of filler that isn't actually pure pigment. So um, you're just not going to get the bold, bold colour out of it and you can't expect to. And you certainly can't charge a lot of money for your paintings with these either because they're not necessarily fade proof. Um, they're not necessarily going to hold their own against um, solar fade. Whereas you have a permanence rating on the professional paints. You're paying, you pay for what you get, right? So I'm pretty sure these have got the, high, these have got the highest rating. I think it's either three A's or four A rating. And um, it means that they're gonna hold their own. They're not gonna fade really quickly like a, a, a color photo losing all its color. They're actually gonna hold their stuff together on the wall on your paintings. And when you're selling a painting, it's very nice to have that assurance that in 15 years time that the client is still going to get as much pleasure pleasure as he did the, from day one from his painting 15 years down the track so you need to consider that too check into your conscience if you're going to sell your work use better quality stuff use better quality supports as well um, and there you go so that's what I have for you beautiful jewel like colors pre-mix for you very handy in the student ranges uh, but commitment to brilliance of color in the professional paint so why not have both? Very handy, nice to have the selection. I hope that's been of use for you. That's today's little tip.